Hello and welcome back to Ravenfield. If you'd like to check out the playlist in the description with my other Ravenfield content, then you can do so down below. Otherwise, we are currently here in instant action and we're going to be uh, trying out the Spec Ops mode. I've actually put 200 bots in there. I don't know how balanced that's going to be for Spec Ops mode because it is much more of an objective-based game mode with specific things that you have to do in comparison to domination or deathmatch or whatever the case may be. I've also put the game length on epic. I'm not entirely sure whether that's actually going to help us at all. I've also downloaded a um, troop skin, character skins. So we have stormtroopers versus battle droids. We could basically choose whatever we want here, as you can see. Um, I, I might place a link in the description to this as well. Uh, but it's very easy to find. It's on the Steam Workshop. It's basically one of the first popular, most popular things. So if you want to see that, then you, you can pretty easily find it. Anyway, we could... You know what? Should we go for Rebels? Let's go for Rebels. Let's be the Rebels against the... I mean, it doesn't really make too, too much sense in terms of theming because obviously the Rebels never really fought against droids. But uh, who's counting, right? Who's counting? Okay, so let's uh, let's do it. All right, so we're playing on my favorite map here. This is basic. I think, personally, I feel like this is my favorite map. I'm going to be playing with the SL Defender. There are a number of um, uh, weapons that you will be able to... Oh, look at this. Ooh. Oh, I might actually use this instead. It has a suppressor on it. I think that could be quite fun. And we're also going to use a suppressed weapon there as well. I actually wonder what else is there that I can actually use. A squad leader kit. Air horn? What does the air horn do? I have no idea, but it's fun anyway. All right. Uh, no, I think I'm I think I'm pretty happy with uh, what we have here. And we'll just continue onward. Okay, so let's have a look. Yes, thank you very much, uh, advisor person. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to lead our squad into the enemy territory and uh, see what we have to do because, uh, well, I, I actually don't know yet. We'll see if we can find out. I quite like the character models already. Oh, am I going to die? No. Nope. Okay, apparently I didn't die. Parkour, parkour. Yes, yeah, very good. Okay. So if I can just make my way around here. I mean, basically, I think what we need to do is just capture, um, capture things, capture flags and things like that. Here we go. I've got movement over a landing. Ah, he does, eh? Okay, so where where is that? Where's landing? I, I, I actually got... No, no, no. Don't run over there, sir. Don't uh, regroup. Thank you very much. Woo -hoo. Yes, I haven't really... Um, oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. They've given us stealth indicators in this Spec Ops game mode as well. So basically, you can be very, very sneaky indeed. Oh, it seems like we're actually being shot at right now. Oh, look, there they are. There they are. Do you see that? There, there, there's some there's some droids over there. Okay, so they're actually going to be seeing us relatively soon. Yep, there we go. Okay, we're taking some fire right here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go over here. It would have been a lot easier if they had not seen us, but I think we'll be okay. Just got to be careful. There we go. Or not, as the case may be. Oh, you know, I should have just taken a sniper rifle. It seems like most of my guys actually do have suppressors on. So it uh, probably would have been a bit counterintuitive to take a sniper rifle, especially considering it is... Ooh, got murdered. Yeah, got murdered. Okay. So is is that it? That Yes, that is indeed it. That is the Spec Ops game mode. Very... Hardcore indeed. Probably way too hardcore for me at the moment. I'm just not that good at the game yet. And I might not I might not ever be, but you know. I think that that is a pretty cool game mode though for those of you that are wanting a hardcore sort of stealth experience. All right, so we're back on the game configuration menu and I'm going to be changing the enemy to stormtroopers because I think that has a bit more theming to it. And we're going to change the um, bot uh, bot amount to 500 because as far as I'm aware this game can handle pretty much any amount of bots as long as your computer can handle them so that's going to be pretty interesting to me and we'll see if we can maybe make it work so we're playing domination here I don't know how effective we're actually going to be in this because let's face it I am not known for uh, 
<laughs> well, I'm not known for pretty much anything, to be honest, but there you go. Um, we're going to hopefully do okay here. I'm going to use the dagger just in case, and uh, we're going to try and take the... Okay, okay, yeah. You can see that, uh, yeah, my computer might not be able to handle 500... I don't know whether it's five. Is it 500 on each side? Is it 500 on each side? I think it might be. Anyway, you may be seeing a uh, pretty... Yeah, I have a pretty low frame rate at the moment. Probably 250 would be good. I think 250 would probably uh, work out quite nicely. I mean... With, oh. oh, they have helicopters. Yes, they have helicopters. Okay, well, that's that's good to know. That is very good to know. I hope we'll be able to achieve something here because we might not even be able to, to be honest. Okay, wait a minute. Do we have some enemies over there? No, that's just an amphibious vehicle. You know what I should have done? I probably should have disabled some of the vehicles because I personally find the infantry combat to be just that little bit more fun than the vehicles. But of course, having a, a, a small amount of vehicles would probably be uh, pretty cool. All right, so let's have a look and see. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> I think I think I might have added too many people. I think I might have added too many people onto this map. That, uh, that seemingly is the, uh, is the problem here. Okay, so we've taken Fort. Fort is basically this area here, which is not really that good. Because we've only taken this. Nice. Okay, there's another guy over there. There's just so many. Get him. Yeah, I shot him. Nice. Kill that guy as well. And... Maybe we can kill this one too. Oh no, get one of my own guns. Oh no. But there is... <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. That, I, I gotta say, I feel like... Uh, yeah, th this is an absolute... This is absolute mayhem. Absolute mayhem. Okay, let me see if I can... Just, I'll just switch to my uh, short range weapon here. Oh, he's dead. You're dead? Okay, wait, yeah. I'm gonna need to change the bottom mounts, I think. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> there are way too many. It is crazy. It is way too many. Alright, here we go. We've entered a new domination round. This should be a little bit more palatable, because as you can see, I've reduced the, um, the amount of troops, I think, to 150 on each side. So that makes 300 total. I think it's 150 on each side at least. And we do have a lot of units here, so it might very well be absolute mayhem once again. And it might be a bit too much. But it is running much, much better this time. Before I was getting 20 FPS or something like that. And now I am getting about 50. Which is, well, much better. <laughs> it is much better, but uh, yeah, I think, we, uh, I think we'll just have a look-see here and see how this goes. Oh, hello there. You're dead dead as well. Okay, we'll just uh, try our best. Oh, there's another one. He's going to pop out. He, isn't he? Isn't he going to pop out? He might. Oh, we've got some people going up there. Yes. Attack, fellows. Attack. Very good. And we have some other enemies coming up the way here. I have disabled most of the vehicles with the exception of quad bikes and jeeps. Mainly because I feel like it takes away from the uh, really fun firefights that you can have. Obviously, if you are more of a fan of the vehicles, then that's up to you. I mean, if you want to you play with them, then you can, of course, play the game and have some fun with it. I mean, literally, it is extremely enjoyable to play. Alright, I'm going to have to um, do something about this. We're going to need to uh, take something. So what do we want to take? We want to take this one, don't we? Yes, we want to take this one down here. Obviously, I don't have anyone in my squad right now, so me telling them to go that way is probably not going to make a difference. Anyway. Oh, and I got shot in the face. Oh, what did he have there? He's got a shotgun. Ooh, interesting. Actually, you know what? I want to spawn in Fort, please. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I think I might go up the stairs here and see if I can just give our guys cover and uh, I think this is I think this might be a bit problematic because domination seems to have no limit to the amount of units um, that you can kill and uh, and so it's probably going to be a, a pretty much infinite uh, in infinite supply of enemies coming in oh, that guy's dead that guy's super dead 
All right, so yeah, I'm just going to get over here to hopefully somewhere that uh, we can actually assist our, our friends on. Like that guy over there, for example. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, okay. Murdered. What did he have? What did he have? It seemed like he had a shotgun as well. Is it just me or are shotguns really, really powerful? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it seems as though we are indeed um, going to uh, suffer a bit of a loss here. And I think in general, it is purely for the fact that the enemy cannot be dislodged with this many units. It just cannot be dislodged. It also might be that domination is not terribly balanced at the moment, considering this is, of course, still early access. And there are so many game modes available. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of different things available here. I actually wonder, can you play Capture the Flag? If you can play Capture the Flag, I will be overjoyed because that is one of my favorite game modes. I know, I know, it sounds weird, right? Sounds weird, but I used to play that a whole bunch in all kinds of games. And, uh, oh, I see. Oh, okay, so that's how domination works. So you lose, um, you lose a, a battalion every single time the bar gets, gets to the other side. So you do have time to actually capture things. And it seems like we have captured fort and landing now. So... We do have the ability to uh, potentially win the next one, but it is going to take a very, very long time indeed. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the menu here because I would actually like to try out some different game modes as well. So let's have a look here. Do they have? Do they have it? I think. What's what's what is point match? What is point match? Let's actually make this 50 bots on each side. And we're going to change around a little bit here. We're going to put the MG Jeep back. And we're also going to have... Ooh, I don't even know about any of these, to be honest. Let's have, um, have anti-air. And we'll have attack planes. That sounds pretty fun. So let's do something like that. I have no idea what point match is. Maybe it is indeed uh, what I think it is. And it's capture the flag or something like that. Uh, that would be kind of fun. Um, but if it's not, then, well, that's just... Uh, ah, score 2,000 points more than the enemy to win. Oh, intriguing, intriguing. Okay, so, uh, can, can I, um... Friends? Can you, uh, get... Le yes! Oof, I'm on here. Nice. Good, good. Okay, let's go, guys. Uh, yeah. Drive. Drive now, sir. Do you... Do you not want it? <laughs> Yes, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh no, he's he's in my squad. Oh, okay. He's actually in my squad, so let me let me tell him where to drive. I actually have to tell him where to drive? Okay, that's interesting. I did not realize that. Okay, this is cool. This is really cool. It's like having my own, very own chauffeur. Wow, this is this is rare. Okay, this is, this is very nice indeed. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready with my, uh, with, with my little weapon here. I'm ready with this. Oh, dear. Yes, maybe I'm not ready, because these guys are... Oh, yeah, they are doing some damage. I'm going to get out here. And we're going to... Oh, nice hit. Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. He's dead? Yep, he's dead. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so do we get points every single time we kill things? I think so. That seems to be the case. At least... Gotta be careful. They, they have access to all weapons, by the way. I, I decided not to restrict the amount of weapons that they can use, but you can you can obviously decide on what you want. So you can have old-timey weapons, you can have modern weapons, you can basically do whatever you want, which is really nice. Ah, am I gonna die? Oh, I'm actually healing myself as I'm falling down because there was a medkit right there, which is pretty fantastic. Okay, let me just see if I can heal myself a little bit. I need to be a bit careful about enemies coming down from here. Ah, oh, I can't see that guy for some reason. And we do have MG nests as well. Bear that in mind. Okay, let me see if I can maybe get on this and see if I can maybe do some damage. I'm going to try to uh, just spray a little bit into the smoke because you never know. There might actually be someone trying to come up here. And if I get a hit marker or something like that, then I'll just spray and pray pretty much. Yeah, that's what you get. 
Oh, th this is fun, actually. This is a lot of fun. I'm, I wasn't entirely convinced about the whole MG thing because, obviously, I'm not very good with the, um, what should we say, the, uh, you know, fast-firing weapons. I feel like I do a lot better with single shot. Um, but that is obviously just my opinion. I don't know whether that's actually the case. So we'll see if I can uh, maybe start to push forward. I thought there was someone on there. But apparently not. Is the smoke ever going to clear? That's the point. Literally. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, no, we're all good. We're firing down there. That's great. Okay, now the smoke is cleared. Very nice indeed. Now we can actually start getting some long-range kills. Let's kill that guy so that he can't... Oh... So that he can't do any damage. Yeah, that guy killed me with a sniper rifle. Very nicely done indeed, sir. Very good indeed. Okay, let me actually just have a quick look here. And uh, we'll try to deploy over in this direction. Seems like we are indeed having some problems. And uh, we are behind by a pretty considerable margin. About 50 or so points. I'm actually wondering, is there a better way to get points? Maybe? Okay, that guy's done. Okay. Oh, uh, are we, are we, wait a minute, wait a minute. We just lost beach or no, no, no. We were trying to take beach and they actually just retook it. Okay. Interesting. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. We're actually capturing this by the looks of things. Yeah. We're moving in. Nice. We're moving in. I actually wonder. Um, I think the more flags you capture, the more points you get for kills or something along those lines. That might very well be the case. Because now you can see that we're actually getting times three instead of just times two. So that's how it works. So fighting over the flags is definitely worth it. And we are going to hopefully catch up in terms of points relatively fast now. Got to be careful here. Got to be careful. Okay, I only have three bullets remaining. I should probably... Oh, dear. Probably reload. Yeah, there we go. We're, we're catching up. We are catching up. Okay. Oh, oh, I knew it. Ah, he's got a shotgun. Of course he does. But it's okay, because look at, look at the point totals now. We're actually catching up. That is really nice. And I can respawn at the fort, which is great. I do have a secondary weapon that I can use. Oh, in close quarters combat. Nice. Take him down. Someone actually told me in the comments that... Um, Hip firing is actually pretty good in the game. So thank you very much for that because I was uh, a little bit unsure because obviously in some games you can hip fire pretty easily and in others you just can't. So, oh, he really used that against me. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. Look at that guy right there. He's literally impaled into the fence. Yeah, that's what happens. Apparently. Okay, this guy's running up there. Maybe we can get him. No. No, he's being chased. He's being chased down, that's for sure. All right, let's see. Uh, we're, we're, we've basically caught up now, which is really good. And maybe... Uh, yeah, it seems like we're still fighting over the beach. So, so I should probably go and help out there. There are people on the low ground and on the high ground right now. So I guess I'll take the middle and we'll see if there are any enemies around here. shot down. Okay, going over here usually results in a death sentence, but I'm going to try and get around to the building here. Ah, yep. Never mind. That's an MG turret. Yes, you don't want to eat those for breakfast, that's for sure. You, you certainly don't. No, no, no. Okay, so we're going to try a different tactic then. We're going to go up this other area here. 
I, th I quite like this game mode, I gotta say. I feel like this this game mode is um, is pretty fun because it doesn't really... Oh, am I stuck? Yes, I am indeed. Oh, no, I was. I, oh, I actually got stuck by the, uh, by the ammo kit. Did you see that? The ammo kit was literally pinning me down there in that uh, small corner because uh, they do actually have um, mass, you know, they, that you can actually, like, stand on them and stuff like that, apparently. So, anyway, point is, I feel like this game mode is really nice. Um, and uh, it, feels, it feels good. It feels good to play this. Apart from when I get shot in the face by a shotgun. But, <laughs> yeah, I think that this is a pretty cool game mode. And by all means, recommend some game modes to me in the comments and uh, things that you'd like to see. Because obviously we've done conquest mode. We did pretty well there. And uh, it would be kind of cool to try out a couple more. Obviously, there are a number of mutators as well that you can also enable through the workshop and by default as well. So it might be fun to uh, try some of those out. I will be browsing the workshop and seeing if I can maybe bring some bring some mods as well to the uh, to the channel and see if we can uh, explore the modding community a little bit in Ravenfield too. As let's face it, modders are some of the, if not the most, passionate about a particular game, and uh, it's always really good to, in in a small way, pay pay homage to to, to some of them because obviously I uh, can't really do much more than make a video. So. There you go. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.